कि आप स्टॉक को तब आइडेंटिफाई करें जब उसके वैल्यूएशन चीप होते हैं नॉट इवन अ सिंगल ईयर वेन द सेल्स है नॉट ग्रोन थर्टी फोर्टी परसेंट इंक्रीज इन द प्राइस द कंपनी इज बीन कंसिस्टेंटली ग्रोइंग कीप एक्यूबलेटिंग एवरी टाइम इट गोज डाउन योर मनी मे बिकम डबल Welcome back investors and traders I'm your host Dr Seema Jain and I have been posting a lot of videos regarding investing in good stocks which are available at the cheap valuation Similarly I have another stock on my radar mere is radar pe ek aur stock hai which looks very good it's from the chemical sector and it's from the amines um, zone it's available on a very reasonable valuation right now thoda sa fundamentals bahut acche nahi hai but still I would say I have a feeling because the company is doing good probably they will be able to reduce their debts and it's important to be able to spot the you know, the levels when the cheap the stock is available at a cheap valuation ye important cheez hoti hai ki aap stock ko tab identify kare jab uske valuations cheap hote hain thoda bahut point here and there chalta hai because i'm sure company will look into it but major faults nahi hone chahiye company mein to मेरे मैं आपके साथ चलती हूँ स्क्रीन पे मेरे रडार पे है इंडो एमाइंस लिमिटेड ये स्टॉक जो है इसका आईपीओ कुछ अप्रैल अप्रैल में आया था एंड ऑफ अप्रैल में आया था इसका आईपीओ एंड उसके बाद देखते हैं कि स्टॉक में क्या चल रहा है कंपनी कुछ 1000 करोड़ की कंपनी है नॉट बैड स्टॉक पीस कुछ फोर्टी का है आर ओ सी थर्टीन परसेंट एंड बुक वैल्यू इज अबाउट ट्वेंटी और ट्वेंटी so current price is about 138 now agar aap iske pros dekhte hain to company is expected to give good quarters company has been maintaining a healthy dividend payout a very positive point of course it's trading at a higher number of times uh, than the book value company might be capitalizing the interest cost and promoters holding has decreased right so now let's see which are the uh, peers of this particular company so rt industries tata chemicals deepak nitride solar industries gujarat fluorocum srf pedilite and if i understand balaji mines and um, balaji mines could also be one of the and alkyne mine could also be one of the uh, competitors which are not here so if i compare the pe pe's slightly on a higher side and if i look into it the market price is pretty uh, you know undervalued and if i look into the market cap it has the least market cap okay dividend yield is pretty decent and i would like to go on to the next parameters what is happening to their sales so over a period of almost 3 years like 2019 to 2022 the uh, sales have almost doubled similarly operating profit margins have also gone up operating profit margins expenses have gone up but operating profit margins have gone up pretty much uh, operating profit margins have increased from 13 crore to there was a dip and then it has been slight it's it has been growing on a continuous basis for the last quarters last four quarters okay then comes the sales sales have really magnified if i see from uh, 2019 to 2022 uh, there has been a growth like if you notice from here ever since 2011 last 10 11 years there has been not even a single year when the sales have not grown the company has been consistently growing then the expenses expenses have also been growing but operating profit margin on year on year basis have increased continuously increased that's a very positive sign and after that let's come down to their borrowing so the point that concerns me at this point of time is that borrowings borrowings are higher than their results but i believe if debt to equity ratio doesn't go uh, like it should be uh, two is to one it, you know like if it goes beyond that then there is a concern so i think their uh, debt is within the range of um, manageable debts they have then cash from operating activity so see here they have been producing good cash from operating activity and in fact they have net cash flow right and then comes their data days which are almost like stagnant and promoters holding from 73.5 have gone down to 69% and public is actually been also consistent slight interest by fii's and that is how the uh, shareholding patterns start Now let's have a look at the 
price because most important thing when you're investing in a stock even more than its fundamentals because fundamentals do matter but what's the price is it overvalued is it undervalued or it is consolidating or it is overbought you have to see that even a good stock if it is overbought um, you know overvalued it is going to correct people will book profit in that so we are looking for undervalued stock the stock which has performed well but now uh, under some kind of stress because of market it's going down so see read the price from here are we going to try reading the price from here so notice you know there is stock opened here on uh, end of april and after that it was just continuously falling down then the price made a bottom and then started moving up in a channel right after that there are some volumes that appeared and the stock gave a breakout and after that but got consolidated at 110. After that, there were huge volumes that appeared in the late August and stock started moving in leaps and bounds up and up and up. Then, because market corrected, stock had come down again and again there has been a consolidation. If you just notice, there has been consolidation here. Why? Because every time stock has made um, higher lows. And then look at the volumes that have appeared today. Again, stock looks to be, stock has given a breakout. It looks good to be heading up above this place. Today's uh, closing is about 138. Above 138, you can go for a buy. 38, 140, you can go for a buy. And the target, first target could be 176. If 176 is crossed, then 200 and 250. And even 300 can be expected. Why? Because crossing this level which is the lifetime high will lead to another you know 30 40 percent increase in the uh, price so the stock looks at a good uh, valuation and price is telling vol good volumes have appeared price looks to be attractive and in an amine business if you notice in the amines business it's one of the cheapest stock right if you want to own a chemical company there can't be a better company than uh, Indo mines at this point of time. So keep accumulating. If it goes down till about 71, you can add more quantities. Your horizon should be again long term, at least two years, three years, and so and so forth. Keep accumulating every time it goes down. But I believe that probably you may not get the opportunity because this this breakout has come second times. So crossing 177 or 178 will lead to a target of 200 250 300 your price your money may become double the time period could be one year one and a half years two years so good stocks should always stay in your portfolio don't even think about exiting them or you can at most average them so i have made this is my third stock in the series which i want you people to accumulate for long term so with this i'll be signing off stay tuned if you like my work give a thumbs up like share and subscribe and share my research with others that will help them accumulate wealth let's grow money together all the best see you in the next video